Hello, hello everyone and welcome to Travels Around My Heart. So today I wanted to speak a little bit more about the two videos that I did uh, on Argentina earlier last week or this week actually, sorry. And um, I explained in that video that I went to Argentina because I wanted to reconnect with men. So I was at a time in my life where I had pretty much been walking into the desert. I would call that the Sahara of men. Um, and uh, I thought it was about time that I get a little bit more action in my life. So actually, to be honest, my journey to reconnect with men started in Bali and that's where I made amazing male friends and that's where I started to really actually um, open my heart to men in a way that I could trust them again and I could um, have you know long discussions with them and I could learn how to connect with them um, on a on a on a deeper and more meaningful manner and i could learn how to see them and and to see their beauty again yes because i think we all when we get our heart um shattered into pieces we all forget um that uh, all men are not the same um and we all forget that we can we can actually trust again um so Bali was incredibly important for that because it is a it is a country is an island sorry with an energy that really helps you do that take the time to indulge into going on these journeys with men who know how to do that with women as well because there is a particular technique on how to do that beautifully a technique that I learned and that I still use, you know, every day of my life now. And um, so when I when I went to Argentina, it was actually really out of the blue because I was in uh, I was in Peru, and uh, I something was starting to happen when I was in Peru, which is that I started to see that men were seeing me. Now I'm small. And I, I don't know if you know about the Napoleon syndrome, but I have suffered of the Napoleon syndrome for a long, a long time in my life. Um, and, uh, and actually particularly in Bali, because the women there that, that I met, most of them were younger than me, much taller than me with long floaty hair and floaty dresses. And, and I never thought that, um, that I, that I was noticed because I, you know, because I was surrounded by all these amazing women. And I, I was in a place where that made me feel very, very small, even smaller than what, than what I am. So that's pretty freaking small. Um, and, um, and in, yeah, and in Peru, I saw that actually men were looking. Um, and then I went to Chile and I, kind of saw that men were looking and I thought, hmm, that's interesting. And then I thought, well, I've always dreamed of going to Argentina. Argentinian men have a very good reputation. Um, and uh, why don't I just fly? Because the, the flight was really, really cheap from uh, from Chile to uh, to Argentina. So that, that's what I did, yes. And I, as I explained in the video, I was there at the moment of the the week of the fest, the international uh, tango festival so the atmosphere was was electric and argentina has got this thing where i mean first of all an argentinian man dressed as a cowboy as a gaucho is amazing a uh, very beautiful sight um but argentinian men are not shy not only do they see you, but they just they just come directly to you and they say, you're beautiful, you're attractive, um, and I want you. And and I can tell you, I mean, even for someone like me who is, you know, pretty cool and pretty open, I um, I was kind of like, whoa, uh, 
that's that's pretty full on. I'm not uh, I'm not used to that kind of level of interest. So what is very funny is that I went to Argentina with a purpose, which was to open my body, uh, if I can put it that way, uh, after having opened my heart. But then when I was meeting men who wanted that body, I felt a little bit like, whoa, this is this is too much, yes? Well, that lasted for about a week and then I got, got really used to it very quickly um, because I thought, hey, this is why you, you came, yes? So it's really funny how we, we want to do something and then we resist that thing that, that we want, yes? So I, I was very conscious of, of what I was doing. So I thought, no, Carol, you, you're just going to do this. That's why you came. And also the fact that I was learning tango, as I explained in the video, tango is really about letting go of control. So I, I, I really opened, I was going to say, um, uh, I opened everything that I was to open. I'm going to regret this. Um, and, uh, and had an amazing, an, an amazing, very short lived, um, adventure. And that did me the world, but the world of good. And yesterday I was, um, because, uh, sorry, I have to really, I have to celebrate before I move on. I have to celebrate the mothers, the Argentinian mothers, because I don't know what they do with their sons, but they definitely raise them in a way to be so amazingly respectful of women. They, they, they cherish you. They, they, they throw compliments at you. They, they hear you. They, they feel you. They just, they just make you feel like you are the most important thing. Okay, you might just be the most important thing for one day, but you are the most important thing. And whatever you say, it's an amazing feeling to have. When you know what it is, you just don't want to stop it afterwards and for the rest of your life. And I guess that's, that's actually what I wanted to talk about. Because yesterday I gave an interview to a travel podcaster. And, uh, and when that's out, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll put it on YouTube as well. And we were, I was telling her about the fact that different countries have got different energies. And when you, when you look at travel as a way to transform yourself, as a way to change yourself, not for one hour, not for one week, but for the rest of your life. Yes. Then you need to be really, really conscious about what it is that you're going to open yourself to. Um, and, and why? Because if you're not consciously aware of that, then you will not attract the right country to you. The, 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 the country where you go will never open itself to you in the way that you are seeking to open yourself to. So it is incredibly important to know what the purpose of your trip is and what it is that you want, what change, what transformation you want to activate in yourself. So I just really wanted to leave that with you. And if you have, you know, questions about that, if you don't actually know how you get to find out what it is that you need to open yourself to, to grow, and then where is it that you should actually go on holiday that matches that, that, that energy kind of work that you want to do on yourself, those changes, then please contact me because I have masses of experience in that and I can definitely help you. So thank you very much for staying with me and being with travels uh, around my heart today. And please, please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel because I have so many great adventures that are coming up and that I have already filmed in travels around my bedroom and please share as well. I know I'm forgetting one little thing, but um, yeah, I can't think about it. So this is it. That's done. So 
what is it that you're going to open yourself to and where will you go in order to do that next? And if you need help, I am here for you. Goodbye.